Hi, I'm Tassim Ropley, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a naturally derived body spray or body mist. Now let me show you how to put it together. Now, this is a very super easy and simple formula to put together. Now, I'm gonna be starting off here with my water phase and I am gonna be adding a little bit of ethanol to this to make it quick drying because we do not want for the consumer to have that wet feeling on them as well or like a damp sort of feeling that's going to take a long time to dry so add a bit of ethanol to help dry that and also just for marketing and story i am also going to be adding some a glycerin based extracts this is just aloe vera now we're just going to give that one a stir until it's nice and homogenous. Now my next phase here it has my solubilizer. So I have some Capril, Capril uh, glucoside in here as my solubilizer. And to this, I'm gonna be adding my fragrance. Now this is the Sun Kissed Fragrance uh, from my good friends at IFF. They have a lot of beautiful fragrances. Now this is a naturally derived one and it has the description of tiara, French penny, coconut, vanilla, and musk to it. So it's got a really nice like summery, sweet sort of scent with a, like a, a hint of coconut as well in it. it smells absolutely beautiful and I'm also going to be adding it my preservative in here as well so this is the Yorksal uh, Eco 9010 so this is a more naturally dry version of the Yorksal PE 9010 now this smells absolutely beautiful and also having a higher input of a fragrance in this as well is also gonna mask that ethanol smell or alcohol smell to it as well. Now, just be careful of how much solubilizer you do use in your formula, because remember this is a leave-on product, so too much solubilizer can cause stickiness or tackiness, which can be quite undesirable to the consumer on the skin. So just be careful of that. Now, technically our solubilizer is a non-ionic surfactant, so you just do want to be careful with your stirring as well, not to cause too much foam or bubbles. And just stir that until it's homogenous. Now we're just going to check and adjust our pH. And as always, we're just going to cover and leave that seat overnight just to check for any signs of instability. Um, and also to make sure that our fragrance is solubilized properly. If it's not, uh, you will see a separate like uh, oily layer sitting on top. Okay, and here is what our body spray is looking like the next day. I've just put it in a glass beaker so you can see it better, but it's remained nice and stable. The fragrance has stayed nice and solubilized as well. There's no gel, or, uh, there's no oily layer on top. Um, it still smells absolutely beautiful as well. Let's put a little bit on my hand and just rub it in. It's also not sticky either and very quick drying and smells absolutely beautiful. Well, there you go. That's how super easy and simple it is to put together a naturally derived body spray or body mist. Now, these are great for something to just quickly chuck on as you get dressed and walk out the door just to give you a nice, fresher sort of smell. Now, if you joined today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our video and also contact us if you would like the formulas for free to all our YouTube videos. Happy formulating.